What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Got a really neat video for you today. We're gonna to talk about moldable mouthpieces and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to mold one of these guys to your mouth so it's a more comfortable feel when you're diving under the water. So the first thing you wanna do is get you a moldable mouthpiece. I've got just the Jacks here from the Mares line, but there's several different companies that make one. Of course, Secure is another company out there. But go ahead and get the mouthpiece of your choice and you wanna go ahead and open up the package. And there's two really big things that you wanna pull out. First of all, of course, you want to pull out the mouthpiece assembly and there's several components that come with it of course you got a little handle here and you're gonna have these two little bite tabs in on the sides you want to leave those in there because those are very important to help get in the proper mold you also want to make note which side of the mouthpiece says up so that you put it in your mouth in the right position so that you can mold it you also want to get the instructions out make sure you read through them because that's going to be very vital to making sure you do this procedure properly now the good thing is with the jacks it's a remoldable mouthpiece so if you make a mistake it's not that big a deal you can simply start the procedure over remold it and get it fitted for your mouth now, a couple things that you need, of course, is a bowl of cold water. I've just got a small bowl of ice water here, and I've also got a boiling pot of water. Now, definitely, anytime you deal with this, you want to be careful. You don't want to burn yourself, but all you're going to do is simply take the handle, hold on to the mouthpiece. You're going to dip it into the boiling water for about 15 seconds, and then you're going to pull it out, shake it off, and then you're going to place it in your mouth for about two minutes. During that time frame, you want to bite down gently on it. You want your teeth to see into the mouthpiece itself, and you want to get it fitted for your mouth. Now, if you start to feel a little discomfort, you can simply massage on your cheeks. It's going to help loosen that the muscles up so that you can really cinch down and get a good mold on the mouthpiece itself. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to pull it out, set it into the cold water for roughly 30 seconds to a minute. Let it cool off. That will set the mouthpiece. Once it cools, you're going to pull it back out reseed it to your mouth make sure you got a good mold if not you simply start the process over put it back in the boiling water for about 15 seconds shake it off and bite on it again so i'm going to show you real quick just how simple it is i'm going to take the lid off here you want to be careful once again not to burn yourself hold on to the handle make sure the little bite tabs are in place and you don't want to go above there's a little line here you don't want to go above that little line you'll see that little notch there you never want to immerse it deeper than that right there so all i'm going to do is simply immerse it down into the boiling water i'm going to count to 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 I'm going to pull it out, give it just a little bit of shake, and then I'm going to bite on it for roughly two minutes. Okay, guys, at the end of that two minutes, you simply want to pull it out. You can clearly see my teeth marks in it now. And all I want to do is simply immerse it down in cold water. And all that's going to do is just kind of help set that up into place it's going to help form it back it's going to cool it off a little bit i want to let it sit here for about 30 seconds or so just to let it get good and cool and then i'm going to retest it i'm going to shake the water off place it back in my mouth make sure that it still feels comfortable and that lines up with my teeth if not all i've got to do is simply repeat or repeat that process now as it cools off i'm going to pull it out give it just a little tiny shake to get some excess water off make sure it still fits and it's a good, comfortable fit. Now, if it doesn't fit, once again, repeat the process, but if it does, now you can come over here and remove the bite tabs and simply remove the plug itself. So guys, that's just how easy it is to use a moldable mouthpiece. All that's left is, of course, attaching it to your regulator, and of course, it does come with a zip tie that you can very easily replace it with your current mouthpiece. So guys, if you got any questions on multiple mouthpieces, simply put it down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. As always, check back each week for new videos. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.